Hello, welcome to how to make an Easter egg hunt. So this past week, I created an Easter egg hunt. Here's actually what it looks like uh, and how it works and how it's fun is sort of you click on these check boxes, animals and eggs show up. Once you reach all of the eggs, uh, this score will um, turn into a color and say you won. So how I will just cheat here and show you what that looks like and see the score becomes blue. Um, it only score it only does that when you get all of the eggs. So if you found all the eggs, even if you find don't find all of the other thing items, um, this turns on and off with this. So I'll share with you how I did that um, and how I did all of these sort of these uh, appear and disappear things. I used an if statement. I did the counter here. I'll share with you everything. First, I just want to share with you one thing to see uh, if you want to see all of the formulas in the sheet. You can select all of the cells, go up to view, show formulas, and then you can see all the formulas. Unfortunately, they're going to be in the format that you did. So like this is all in Google Sans. This is Comic Sans font. So it's funny that the formula will show up as um, in the font that you have. So this also is very hard to read. So let's go in here. I took out the equal sign so we can actually look at what the if statement is like. So first, I'll go through the if statement. Um, it's a checkbox here um, that if it's true, an if statement is three arguments, uh, a true or false statement in the first argument. And then uh, if it's true, it'll say the second thing. And then if it's false, it'll say the third thing. So my if statement here, I did if D1, which is the checkbox. And that's just checked is true, unchecked is false. And so I put this emoji here. Um, if originally when I tried to do this, I actually tried to make it so that the emoji was the same color as the background and that didn't work. So I ended up with this if statement to just show it or not show it. And what I like to do sometimes with if statements is put in the second part, the false, where uh, just nothing, so it's blank, um, so that it only appears when you do something. Um, I also made the choice over here that every cell has something you don't have to do that you can actually delete some of the cells if you want um but i just wanted to make it so that the moment someone interacts with this uh something happens guaranteed 100 percent um and that's important if you're uh sharing sheets with other people that if you ask them to do something that they're not uh confused they understand you know what to do check box check the box or uncheck the box and that something actually viscerally happens right um, the way that I did this score is just a count if statement, and I counted all of the columns, and I said, if it's true, count it. Um, that's it. That's how you get the score. These find functions are a little more difficult. I had to do this in two steps. Um, first, I had to do a count if statement to just count the amount of these that there are. Absolutely, you can just do that by hand. You can just count them. Um, but as you can see... Um, here it counts down so a count if statement is going to count up but this you wanted to know how many are there and then how many are left and so what this is is a i just found the count 11 and then minus the count if so now you get a count down to we need to find 10 more and that's uh you know a little tricky thing to do or fun thing to do if you're if you're looking for say like a progress bar typically shows you how many you have have done, um, but if you do something where it's like a countdown, um, it, it helps people understand how much they, how much work they have to do, how much work is left. So you can take from this fun example, you can use that again and again in your uh, Google Sheets later. Um, and then how did I do the uh, changing of the uh, numbers is I knew uh, that essentially you won if you got this eggs down to zero, right? Um, and so what I do here is, I, let me show you in conditional formatting, tools, format, initial formatting, is a basic custom formula. And the custom formula is if B5 is equal to zero. I know there's two, this is the most confusing part about custom formulas in conditional formatting, is that you have to add an equal sign at the beginning no matter what your formula is. So it, this stopped me for quite a long time by, from using these custom formulas. But the first equal sign is actually like an is, like an is statement. Like the fo custom formula is 
B5. So you have to add that equal sign. This is very similar to programming where you assign things with an equal sign, but if you want to look for a uh, valid, like compare, you have to use two equal sign. Um, so you have to use like an equal sign to meet B is, and then another equal sign to be equals to. So is equal to is actually two um, equal sign in programming, but here you have to add the equal sign, then B5 equals zero so that you can say, okay, whenever this is B5, make it this background highlight color, like really bright. Immediately you see this difference. You've won. Um, could have also, I could have also changed this to something like um, an if statement, like if this is above zero, lowest score wins. And then I could have changed this with an if statement to like, you've won once this changes. Absolutely. There's a lot of more stuff we could do with it. Um, but I wanted to share this with you and how to make this. And I hope you can use these cool tools to, um, make a Easter egg hunt yourself or some, or use these, uh, interesting features in your own Google Sheets. Um, the last thing I'll say before letting you go is that, uh, I'm doing this all the time on bettersheets.co. I have a lifetime access deal right now. Uh, you can find out how to bring cool features to life. Um, really creative uses of Google Sheets, uh, make your Google Sheets better. Um, I'm offering lifetime access. I'll never charge you again. Uh, for all the videos at this moment, there's 22 videos. There's probably going to be about a hundred videos within the next three or four weeks. Um, and the last thing I'll leave you with is these background colors are all custom. Um, and how you, how I did that and how you can do that is go here to custom. Uh, I literally just picked a palette of, uh, four pastel Easter egg colors and use this hex key. So, uh, Google Sheets has a lot of really awesome customization features you can do just as long as you know where to find them. It, it's really odd that it's hidden down here, um, in this custom and you have to actually click custom and change this hex number. Um, but yeah, uh, hope you enjoy this. Hope you got a little bit out of it and thought of some cool features to do. Use this if statement, um, to show and, and show emojis with some checkboxes. Thanks. Bye.